Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce about the phase array antennas and its uh, radiation pattern calculation. So what do you mean by phase array antennas and what is the purpose of these phase array antennas in the radar systems? Phased array antennas. Array antennas are nothing but group of antennas. Array antennas are nothing but group of antennas. Phased array antennas are nothing but they are used to radiate the power in particular direction. In one direction. Each and every antenna is separated by a distance. And they are having the phase difference between one element to another element. Okay. So, phased array antennas. So, array antenna is nothing but array antenna is nothing but group of antennas. Group of antennas. Phased array antennas have a phase difference between successive elements between successive elements element is nothing but antenna here element is nothing but antenna what is the purpose of phase array antennas they are used to transmit or receive the signals in one direction in one direction theta in one direction theta nothing but angle in one particular angle this orientation can be done with the uh, with respect to the phase differences uh, where it is the orientation of this the orientation of this theta okay theta or theta naught can be done base can be done by the phase difference between the elements between the element element is nothing but antenna here okay so what is the purpose of phase array antenna? The main purpose of phase array antennas is to orient the transmitted signal or received signal in one direction. Okay. Uh, with respect to the diagram, you can understand. See here. Here, let us consider n number of elements. All these n number of elements are grouped together to receive the signal. See, this is the first element. Second element. Element is nothing but what I told you. Element is nothing but antenna. So, this is first element, second element, third and so on. We have n number of elements are there, n number of antennas are there. All these antennas are separated by a equal distance D. All the antennas are separated by a equal distance D. And they are having a phase difference phi. Or you can call it as psi here. They are having a phase difference psi. Okay. Psi is equal to... 2 pi by lambda d sin theta naught sin theta or theta naught this theta naught refers to the angle at which the signal is being collected okay you can say this is the theta naught hope you understand what is going on now okay theta naught is the angle at which the signal is being collected by these antennas or signal is being transmitted by these antennas group of antennas Okay, why we are using this uh, phased array antennas? Normally, in conical scan radar or uh, in uh, sequential scan radar, we have seen in tracking radars, I have explained in order to track the target, what we are doing, we are rotating the plate of antenna. Okay, suppose if you are having an antenna plate in this particular direction, it is fixed, and if the target is moving like this, if the target is moving like this, then until in the vicinity of this radar system 
antenna if the target is in the vicinity of this radar system then of course it can detect and track the object once the target is going away from this vicinity then the antenna plate cannot detect the object what we need to do we need to rotate the antenna plate in such a way that in the direction of the target suppose if the target is moving in this direction then again the antenna plate has to be rotated like this like this it has to be rotated in the with respect to the direction of the target but rotation of the plate becomes a lot of mechanical energy needs a lot of uh, servo mechanism everything is there okay servo mechanism when we are using servo mechanism maintenance should be there okay servo motors are there we need to rotate the plate in angular uh, angular error like azimuthal and as well as elevational okay so such type of mechanism is very complex and uh, difficult to maintain that's why in order to avoid this phased array antennas came into existence phased array antennas in the phased array antennas we are not changing the direction of antenna the antenna is fixed forever but depending upon the group of antennas and their phase differences as they are separated by a distance of d and the phase difference between the successive elements is a psi that decides the radiation pattern in which the it has to transmit or it has to collect okay so the radiation pattern may go in particular direction like a theta here theta can be changed every time depending upon the distance okay the direction of theta in which the signal can be transmitted or received here the diagram shows for the reception case as well as we can also transmit the signal in the same direction okay so if if you want to change the theta you can change by changing the phase difference or distance between the elements okay the in that way we can uh, identify we can track the object also we can uh, rotate the direction of and direction of uh, transmission okay that orientation can be done with the help of this group of antennas see here this is the way how the signal is being transmitted actually all the antennas are in the horizontal way all the antennas are connected in this direction but the signal is going in this direction at an angle theta okay that is the advantage of this um, group of antennas okay see here phi phase difference it is the phi here it is also phi here it is also phi suppose if you want to take the successive phase difference between the elements it is zero the phase difference between this one and this one is zero here here and here and zero here here and zero like that we have different types of patterns i will tell in future um, in the coming videos i will tell how the phase difference is going to be taken now let us see the phase the radiation pattern radiation pattern how to calculate the radiation pattern see from this figure uh, e1 e2 e3 and so on these are the signals that enters into the group of antennas and finally what we can write ea ea is equal to e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus and so on en so ea is equal to we know the phase difference between the adjacent elements let us take the phase difference phi or psi you can name it as in any way psi is equal to 2 pi by lambda d sin theta naught okay you know what is theta naught theta naught is the angle at which the transmitted or received signal is going on ea is equal to e1 plus e2 plus and so on plus en it is a collective signal okay what is e e1 e1 let us assume that e1 is nothing but sin omega t E1 is nothing but sin omega t. What could be the second signal now? E1 sin omega t plus psi. Omega t plus psi. If you are asked to calculate the phase difference between the first two elements, omega t plus phi minus omega t. Omega t plus psi minus omega t. So omega t, omega t gets cancelled, only psi will be there. In such way, we need to select the signal component plus if you are asked to write the third one how will you write omega t plus the phase definition between the success element should be same here it is psi here also it should be psi so it is 2 psi hope you understand now okay again if you want to ask write the next one sin omega t plus 
three side. So even if you consider the phase difference between the successive elements, it is same. So three five minus two psi, it is psi. Again two psi minus psi, it is psi. Psi minus zero psi. So in this way, we need to select a plus and so on. Uh, sine omega t plus n minus one into psi. This is the now after all these summation okay we cannot add everything here so if we directly take the expression it will be like this so generalize the notation after addition of all these omega t plus n minus 1 into psi by 2 into this is the phase component and the amplitude component is sin n psi by 2 by sin psi by 2 sin psi by 2 this is the amplitude component so if you see here this is the amplitude come magnitude and this is the phase okay this is magnitude and this one is the phase information in the received total signals EA okay now in order to calculate a GA, nothing but radiation pattern, you should know the magnitude factor. So the magnitude EA mod EA of T is equal to sin N psi by 2 by sin psi by 2 in mod. Now, psi n psi by 2, what is psi n, what is psi from this expression, psi is equal to 2 pi by lambda d sin theta. Now, we need to write lambda psi by 2, so psi by 2 means pi by lambda d sin theta, n pi by lambda d sin theta not divided by sin pi by lambda d sin theta naught. You can use theta or theta naught, whatever it is, but if you want to use theta naught, continuously use theta naught. If you want to use theta, continuously use theta, whatever it is, no problem. Okay, so the radiation pattern, radiation pattern G, A of theta, is equal to it is expressed as mod E s square by n square mod E s square by n square so you can simply substitute the expression sin square g a of theta or theta naught you can calculate both n pi by lambda sin theta naught divided by n square sin pi by lambda sin pi by lambda sin square mm, pi d by lambda where is d here t is gone d is there d pi d sin theta naught this is the way how to calculate the radiation pattern okay so the radiation pattern of n array elements or phased array antennas is this one Nothing but a normalized, a normalized radiation pattern amplitude by normalized means for n number of n number of elements are there. So yeah, modulus square by n square. Thank you.